okay guys so now we have you know what we're gonna do here is we are going to use publish over SSH plugin for the further deployments now right you can see here I have one Jenkins server right and we have one dev server at this moment right and you can have multiple dev server prod server UAT server and some you know whatever it is so for me I have one development server at this moment right so we are going to do whatever we build in this Jenkins box I mean from this Jenkins we are going to deploy everything to uh, or our war ER to our dev box right so here you can see this is my Jenkins box where my Jenkins is running and this is my uh, you know you can say my development server right where I, I'm going to deploy my you know uh, code here so I have already installed Java so I will show you it so just navigate to OPT you can see Java has been already installed and I have sp defined the Java home also so Java is perfectly running here right the next I have installed application server which is called Apache Tomcat right and let's see if this is running fine so you can see the application server is running fine so only the you know the thing you have to do is you just have to validate it if this is working fine so that's awesome this is working so this is the plain Apache Tomcat at this moment and see if we have done any deployment so you can see we have not done any deployment so this is the default deployment which is coming at this moment next what we're gonna do guys is we are just going to install one plugin which is going to uh, do deployment for us so you'll have to click on manage Jenkins so Jenkins is you know uh, this is the store of plugin you know ab for everything you'll have to use the plugin in future so make sure you are used to of this so you just have to go to manage plugins in manage plugins you will find updates available plugins what, whatever available here you can see how many plugins are installed here you can scroll it down and see there are so many plugins which has been already installed right so if you want to install any plugin you just have to go to available section in available section you have to search for the SSH whatever the plugin you are looking for right so here you will see so many plugin SCP publisher SSH SSH agent right and SSH pipeline staff SSH too easy and terminate SSH process so here we have so many plugin but the plugin I need I am not able to see this so let's go in the install section and see if this is available here I mean that's already installed so you can see the plugin is already installed right so whenever you are going to install any plugin what you have to do simply is let's say you're gonna use this MS build plugin right you just have to click the plugin click download now and install after restart whatever it is and install without restart so as soon as you will click here right so let's say I will install let's say I will install this one or let me take some another things so as soon as you click on the oh sorry let's say MS test right so it will click it will ask you it's pending and it will ask you to restart the Jenkins installation is complete and no jobs are running it says download it successfully will be activated during the next boot right you just have to click on this so it will reboot it and will come up and your plugin will be applicable now right so we know that we have already installed that plugin which is already available in my Jenkins so I don't need to do it it may be that you need to do it right once you are done with your installation your Jenkins is up you just need to configure it right for configuring your Jenkins you need to go to configure systems in configuration in in this configure system you will be would be able to see publish over SSH plugin here after installation so scroll it down and see if this is available somewhere so you can see here it is right the publish over SSH plugin has been successfully installed and you can see this is available here now what it is asking for this is asking for passphrase right and key to connect to the Jenkins now 
what guys you have to do is make sure whatever the client you have you have created the uh, you know a public and private key there and you have password protected that private key right Other, otherwise you are going to get some issues so make sure so what you have to do is you just have to jump to your client server or your you know uh, a dev server and do ssh hyphen keygen right and if you want to give uh, rsa and dsa whatever you can do you can write rsa dsa so i'm going to use the default one so you just have to click here so this will show you know generate public private key pair enter file which to save the key right it says key are already exist do you want to override it i will say yes override it and i will give what password you want to give to this so let's say i'm gonna give this passphrase so let's re-enter the passphrase we are all done so our keys has been created in this location in root home dot ssh by this name right if you are generating it with normal user that will be in in, your, in the home of that user that means let's say if vikas is the user the home directory of vikas would be slash home vikas and the key would be inside slash home vikas dot ssh right so get the key from there so we are doing it doing everything by root at this moment so do this do pwd do dot ssh do ls and ltr you're gonna see your keys here right rd this is your private key and this is your public key at this moment we need the private key only so just copy this copy this key from here right and just navigate here just paste your key here right in passphrase section you can give here your key i mean whatever the password you have given to your key just scroll it down click on add server you can add multiple server to this and give the you know uh server name here so let's say i'm gonna give it dev1 and what is the host name you'll have to get it from here either host name or the ip address whatever you wants to give so i'm gonna give the ip address here and by which user you are going i am going with the root user if you are going with the normal user give the normal user here for which you have created key right or remote directory kya hogi right if you want to give the complete path of the tomcat you can give otherwise if you can give any path here let's say if you want to give uh, till the opt here jab aap configure karoge properties then you'll you don't have to give complete path you just have to give slash apache tomcat and something like that right so scroll it down click on advance and here you will see use password authentication to use a different key so just click on this and give your passphrase whatever you have given so i have given my passphrase here so just come down and you will see the test configuration section here just click on this you will get the success method if this has been success then the connection has been established between your nodes also make sure so whenever right you do the first time try to make ssh to this host from this machine so that it adds key sometime you get issues but make sure you do this this will fix your issues just go ahead apply and click on save right so now we gonna create our job now so what i'm go uh, what i am going to do is i'm going to edit this first job itself for the deployment right i will click on configure system i will scroll it down and navigate to the section you can see this is my git repository right and i have not given any credential because this is my public repository and accessible from everywhere so come down i am doing build from the master branch if we have another branch you can give the branch here right if if the test branch if the dev branch if the release branch you just have to replace here right scroll it down in the build section what we are doing is maven clean install right next what we need to do is we just need to do the deployment 
right for doing the deployment what you need to do is send file or execute command over ssh right and let's go to the publish section if we get there publish over ssh okay let's use this only so as soon as you click on this send file or execute command over ssh it will give you the option here to choose if you have multiple servers so we have dev on one only so just select the dev one and next this will ask for what is the source file name right which file you are going to transfer one thing i gotta tell you here right this path is called the workspace right so if you give the dollar workspace then this path would be automatically taken up by here so what you have to do here is either you want to give the source file name here so if you take the workspace right dollar workspace after that you have two files here first underscore job and targets so what you simply can do is you can do star star slash star dot war right and if you want to see the example here if you click here you can get the example also here so what this is going to do is from this workspace after two folders right whatever the star dot war file is here let's say this is my war take it when i talk about prefix guys and if i let me navigate to the box my box again right so this is the prefix first job and agent right if you do not remove this prefix what it will do is it will copy first job target this complete folder to the remote directory wherever you want wants to keep it right okay. i will not remove the prefix first and i would say what is my remote directory let me take my remote directory so my remote directory was my dev server apache tomcat so let me do sudo cifnl slash opt apache tomcat so let me navigate to here apache tomcat and i need web apps so what is my path if you remember guys i have already given slash opt there do you remember that in the remote directory so what i have to give here only this path because if you remember when we was doing some configuration let me open one another tab here when we was doing configuration here right i said if you are giving the remote directory so the remote directory we have already defined there so let's click here to control f search for ssh if you see here we scroll it down you see opt we have already given that's what we are not giving here we have given the remote directory here already you could have given this complete directory as well what i am specifying here right but we have not given the time so that's what i am giving i need to put my data my war in this location and execute command if you want to start stop and do something you can execute your commands here so let's say i will not do it now i will do apply and save and roll up my build so let's click here and see what's going on in the console so you can see now this is connecting with the host disconnecting and hope one file was transferred right so let's navigate to your client machine and in the web apps we are still there what do you see guys target what do you see guys right so what it did is this added the prefix also so what you need to remove now in the prefix target only so let's edit your job again 
click on configuration scroll it down and you say remove this prefix and next if you want to run any command let's say you want to start stop your tomcat so you're gonna do cd let's say sh shut down dot sh your tomcat right if you want to do something you want to run any command you can do it from here let's click apply and save let's go again and kick off this build and i'm gonna remove this target from here now so let's see if the build is success now you can see build has been successfully completed and we can see the artifact has been copied also right so let's validate if this is working fine we can validate our deployment this is this was our tomcat right client tomcat and see if my application is running you can see my artifact has been successfully deployed in the remote machine and it's up now guys as soon as you install your jenkins right when jenkins home is created and if you do ls hyphen la in your system you can see dot jenkins folder has been already created there right and if you add, you know you can see the fourth one from last right dot jenkins so every time you install jenkins you will see this folder there and if you do cd on this folder cd dot jenkins do ls hyphen ltr you will see so many configurations file would be available there right what is node secret logs user plugin flow jobs workspace tools and secrets so we're going to concentrate on three folders which is tool workspace and jobs right to agar aap tool folder aap dekh rahe ho to tool folder basically consists information of your tools which you are configuring aapne dekha humne global configuration tool mein jaake tool configure kiya right if you do cd to this tool and you will see maven would be installed there in the same way agar aap koi bhi tool install karte ho additional tool additional plugins from there you will be see those tool information here right come out from this now come out cd dot dot so the next we can see two essential folder for us the first is workspace and the second is jobs right so inside the jobs you will see all the jobs that you are creating in and inside the workspace your code will be cloned every time with your job names can you do cd to workspace so you will see every time you run one job there will be a workspace created for your every job right and inside this workspace your code will be cloned and all the step would be performed can you do cd to this first job capital f ls hyphen ltr okay so you can see here your code has been cloned here and all the instruction you know maven clean has been run inside it and if you cd to at the last directory you will see one target folder would have been created there right which consists basically your uh, archive file can you do cd to this you will see the code has been compiled and one target folder would have been created where you will be seeing your artifact file again agar aapne dekha hoga ki jo humne manual build kari thi similar thing was happening there right this is what we are trying to achieve from the uh, automation tool can you do cd to this target you will see let's have it you will see your archive folder is there now just do pwd and come out from this these two directories just come by the first jenkins shop you'll have to navigate to two directories you 
you need space do control a you will come at the first yeah do now do pwd this look this path is basically your workspace and jenkins call it as a dollar workspace right agar aap kisi bhi location mein jaake aap dollar workspace dete ho right to by default ye aapko pura path define karne ki zarurat nahi hogi apne job ke andar right we will see that also come out from this now this directory also just go to root dot jenkins yeah come out two directories one more ls hyphen ltr now navigate to jobs make sure you are familiar with these folder pretty you know got things yep you can see job has been created here right and some of the xml and job numbers you will see inside this file can you do cd to this capital f ls hyphen ltr you can see the build number has been created if you navigate to the builds ls hyphen ltr you will see all the build number would be there right build number 1 build number 2 build number 3 so uh, i you will come to know the benefit of those later on right so okay right you have seen the workspace in the local system right where we have installed the jenkins and if you navigate inside this job also right if you go inside this job you will see the workspace folder is there also right if you go in this workspace folder you will see all the things that you have seen there that means this workspace is dollar workspace is your variable which 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 can be by slash dot root dot jenkins and your job name so the first thing we're going to use for a deployment is shell script just click on configuration again right scroll it down and after this deployment we are uh, built we are going to deploy this right so what i going to do is i am going to use this shell script here right so i will click execute shell script click on execute shell so this is the basic step we are going to go with so you can put in your shebang header here what we going to do for this is right i'm going to take go to this workspace and find the location so you can see inside workspace you can see this is the location where my target folder exist and this is the target and this is my war file so i have already taken this path in 28 minute sublet path target and war file name so let's go back and put it here so either you do cd to this or just cp hyphen r dollar workspace and your code where you want to keep it inside your deployment directory whatever your deployment path is right and further you can write more on this script like you want to start shut down your tomcat start that and so on and so forth so i can apply and save this right and just go ahead and click on build again so if there will be any issue so your build will be stuck so just click on this and see what is going on so the code is being built and you know instruction are running on top of that you can see the build has been failed it says bin bash doesn't exist okay mark does a fail all right that's fine let's go up i think our shebang header is not so let's read on this every time your build gets stuck due to some reason you will get you know the build is stuck and build is failure and you will get this kind of you know failure message and you can navigate to your log and see what is error there and fix it you can say build has been successfully completed and let's see if 
code has been deployed successfully so you can see we have successfully copied our work to this tomcat right in the webex directory and build it success so let's validate it because i have deployed in the same instance you try to deploy it in the another instance so for doing this you will need to use scp instead of cp what was that in 28 minutes so there is some 404 error because can you see if this has been deployed in the server So this is how you know you'll be able to see and you should get some output so we'll see that i'm stopping the video for now